you're welcome to my channel this is human ellie the blogger don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more of this content anytime i drop it today today is also another beautiful episode of my videos that i i do the purpose of me doing stuff like this is not just to throw around videos on youtube but it's also a to, to as an avenue to promote my country in a little small way that i can also use to help bring africa to the map um, big ups to my brother who always inspire me a lot one day maya you can try and go check his video out on youtube one day maya this guy is a great guy he has always been giving me inspirations anytime i watch his videos i get inspired to do a lot of videos to promote africa big up bro you are doing a great work okay today we are going to be talking about a very very important topic or something i think yesterday i watched Woody Myers video um about how we africans are not able to see the potentials that we have rather people from outside are taking advantage of our continent and he made he made mention of a very very important aspect of this video that really caught my attention was the fact that we we we, we don't really know what we have and other people are taking advantage of that Recently, the president went to UK for an African summit. China also did this, Russia also did this. If you think Africa is not a perfect continent or it's not a perfect place to invest, then why are these people coming to our country? It's high time we ask ourselves to that kind of question. Today, millions of Ghanaian youth are traveling on the Mediterranean Sea just to seek for greener pastures. A lot of Ghanaians are traveling to Europe, to America and the rest, all for greener pastures. Sometimes I ask myself, is it that we is it that is it that we, we, we can't think into the future or is it that we, we I I just I just cannot figure the whole thing out. I just can't figure the whole thing out. It's high time our leaders also help. It's high time African leaders also help. At least Porkigami of Rwanda is also doing a great thing. I bet you in the next five years, Rwanda is going to be like Singapore. Rwanda is going to be like Singapore. And I pray to God by 2021, probably I'll be visiting Rwanda. Rwanda is going to be because actually when you watch when you watch how they are progressing you could see that there is a systematic plan and a conscious effort to rob the country. Last time a friend of mine was saying something that even the leaders of our country Ghana are ready to develop the country. Are the people in the country ready? walk on the streets and people drink sachi water after drinking the water they dump the rubber on the floor and we all sit back and watch all these things happening to our own country last time i was walking on the streets and a school bus was passing by this little kid after drinking the water threw the rubber out of the bus and i was like my god what are we actually teaching our young ones in our schools Education is not all about 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. No! We should also try to inculcate uh, 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 sanitation programs into our curriculum so that these young ones won't go and dumping rubbish on the streets. And it's, it's very, very bad. It's very, very bad. It all boils down to leadership. Because if the person does the wrong thing and the person is punished for be, doing the wrong thing, I don't think such things will happen the next time. 
so it's, it's, it's time that we let me say the the, the, the the elderly ones have done a lot of mistakes they are old now we as the young ones have to take over the mantle and do the right thing if you want Ghana if you want Africa to be a better place to live in you should also make sure that you also contribute to that factor so that we can build a better nation today people are running to uh, Asia now the narrative I've turned from the Europe or from America or from Europe to Asia now look at Singapore look at Malaysia look at China look at Japan look at South Korea these guys are developing very fast very very fast it's just like you working with your mom a child working with uh, his mother and the mother is working very fast and the child is not able to catch up with her mom and decides to sit and cry so that he, he, he or she will be able to catch the attention of the mother this is just a scenario between Africans and the, the, the Western world these people are going and we are, we are sitting at one place we are crying so that they hear our cry so that they turn and watch us they are not, they are not going to turn man they are not going to turn these guys are moving very fast these guys are moving on the fast pace and we are here wallowing in poverty and stuff it's high time you all change a renewal of the mind let's change our mind towards our country let's change our mind towards Africa Africa can be a better place to live in and let's stop all this quote and unquote nonsense that we, 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 we do in this country you get me when it rains people pour uh, rubbish into gutters and at the end of the day they turn around to blame the government who does that and the authorities are not able to punish these people so when we don't punish them at the end of the day they continue doing it thinking is the right thing we are doing it's time we change the narrative as my brother Maya has been saying it's time we change the narrative it's time we change the narrative about Africa if you watching me and I are able to do the right thing i don't think ghana or i don't think africa will be as it is now so let's all help let's all help the opportunities are there let's all help to 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 promote our country to 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 to, to make sure that in our small corner we can do something to push and develop our country forward and let's stop all this petty politics and stuff recently about the voters where they started this divide is saying we don't want it this divide is also saying we want it and blah 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 at the end of the day people have their interest and that is the, the ultimate is not the country the ultimate is what they are going to gain at the end of the day whether yes or no or no it's, it's high time we change the narrative we change the narrative so as my brother Maya has been always been preaching let's any any small way that you can develop or help promote your country or promote Africa let's do it but as we are on that journey of promoting Africa let's also remember and remind ourselves that there are certain things that we need to stop certain things that we need to stop as we are promoting the good things about Africa we also know the bad things that we've been doing against this continent and against this country that we can stop and push the positives. As for the negatives, uh, the likes of the BBCs and the CNNs and the Al Jazeera will be pushing them. Whilst we also be pushing the positives. So, as I said, my name is Ellie the Blogger. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more of these videos. So, anytime I post, you'll be the first to watch my videos watch out for good content coming on this channel and if you have anything that you think we could help shoot to promote Ghana you can 
link up to my Instagram page, which is Ellie Brown, Facebook, Friends Brown. So that Charlie, you push Ghana forward. Oh dear, Kahuna, my dear, Kahuna, the baby. So I think we are done now. And let's 